Guten Abend, alle miteinander. Welcome back to Tom Play's Civ 6 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with Frederick of the Germans and we just finally conquered Labenta. I'm hoping to find out about the new landmass, which I'm guessing is to the west based on the direction Saladin came from. Although, you know, with the Earth being round and all, it's probably to the east as well. But yeah, it's, we're really a bit overdue for doing some... Whew. ...for doing some exploration of the seas. We have, right, Tria. Well, I do want to watch myself a bit with the money situation. We're finally just about making some money. But, yeah. It's, uh, still, Tria is near a, bunch of, near a bunch of mountains. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any options for... more than one extra science per turn without getting rid of some of our existing <laughs> special features and things. Trio's just got too many special features and things. Trio really needs a builder to take advantage of it, but I did want to build some more campuses. What else do we have? We do need to work on medieval walls. I'm pretty sure we still have... ...a policy in place. Ah, brilliant. Right. So Frankfurt's just built a builder. Right, Frankfurt is on the ocean, but it's also more likely to be attacked in other places so I'm going to go for the medieval walls. So medieval walls are an upgrade to ancient walls. London has a harbour but again very much in the firing line so if we've repaired everything then I think walls are probably the next move. Hmm. the moment I'm assuming our next threat is going to be from Egypt. We don't have any more barbarians to worry about. Oops. So yeah, let's maybe not go too close to the Egyptian borders because I'm not necessarily trying to precipitate a combat. Although possibly we should. Okay. Right, well to me the first thing we should be doing is building a quarry. Because that improves production in the city. But also we've got free improvements around the city alone, so we may as well take advantage of them. Berlin needs more food. Oh boy. Okay, Saladin doesn't like us. Not sure. Oh, he thinks I'm a warmonger. Well, that is perfectly reasonable and a fair assessment. Can't really fault him there. Okay, so we have built a builder in Berlin. Not. Oh, we've sent a builder to Berlin? Totally sure what we were hoping to achieve with it, unfortunately. Oh, so I wasn't actually intending to click then. Well, we are low in food. So, assuming this is Berlin rather than Aachen. Oh, actually, before we do anything else, we should probably fix the damage there. Some damage here as well, isn't there? So we should think about that with Frankfurt's Builder. Okay. 
Aachen. Great library. I've always been fond of a great library, much as I'd like to build some city walls and the university instead. I might just go for it, so that's another wonder. It just is going to boost our sights a bit, effectively. <sighs> so, Berlin already has a crossbow man. Possibly needs a harbour. That certainly helps us with our money woes, which are ongoing. Lobenta has a bunch of things to repair. Okay, I'll repair the granary. Okay, so this builder I'm actually going to send down to Lobenta before we do any more improvements to do some repairs because they don't actually cost anything. over to London just in case we don't really know where we're likely to be attacked from next. Uh, Hohen has built a crossbowman, doesn't appear to have one defending itself, so we should move one into the city. So I hope everything I'm doing here makes sense. It's all stuff I've done before. Basically, just making sure all the units have got, all the cities have got crossbowmen defending them. You can't build, you can't beat a range unit for defending a city. And I'm trying to gradually move all the other military units towards the front lines especially on this continent. Right, I did want to upgrade the swordsman to a musketman, but we don't have the money yet. Ditto for the heavy chariot. We really need to find ways of making more money. So commercial hubs, I suppose, are what we should be concentrating on next. It's basically just to maintain the standing army we have. So I didn't dislike us again. It might just be because we have a different religion to him, to be fair. He doesn't actually say. I wonder if everyone thinking we're a warmonger will die down a little. Once we've not made war for a bit. I suppose we shall find out. So the Forbidden City is actually culture. Petra is production. But it's really only useful for a city that's in the middle of a desert. Which Memphis really isn't. So it gives you plus one production on all desert tiles for this city. So, yeah, Hagia Sophia is based on religion, so great and everything, but it's not really our major concern. Alright, let's build another commercial hub. Okay, so slightly distressingly, the only good places to build them are on rainforests. I wonder if that's because we don't have any roads. Could be. So how about if we build a trader instead first. And we'll see if that improves the situation with roads. Okay, Mont, Mont Saint Michel, that's a religion one. Again, the Great Lighthouse is good for admirals. Which is interesting. And gold. It's tempting. Let's repair the monument first. I 
Okay, so I'm not sure if they have city walls. Or if they do have city walls, whether I've destroyed them. So, that might be more urgent, really. Square rigging. Okay. So we don't seem to have any boosts to anything at the moment. Ooh. So we should go for something we're unlikely to have boosts for. So I have not been building forts. So although this costs a bit. Actually, what's mass production like? Shipyard. Hmm. Not as worried. I'm quite interested in ballistics simply because we get the field cannon, which I think is the next upgrade for ranged units. So it will help our defence enormously, I think. Okay, so Laventa, you need ancient walls before anything else. Want some better defence. Right, so we're going to repair this land. It shouldn't actually cost us anything. That gets Aachen back up to full. Okay. Saladin has made an amazing offer of we give him some gold and he does stuff all. No thanks. Yes, well, <laughs> given I'm predominantly a military power, be my guest. Okay, so we have unlocked the Merchant Republic. And normally this is something I would go for. But, honestly, I think we're better off as a monarchy. It's more in line with what we do. So right, apparently our previous... Actually, we should do, double check everything. So production tools, defensive buildings, that's good. We're building a lot of those. Unit maintenance reduced, that is definitely good. The more we can have of that, the better. Production towards melee. Well, we're not actually building a lot of units at the moment, so we might want to rethink about that one. And again, the encampment buildings and districts. So I think a discount on unit upgrades would be good because we've got some of them coming up and we also are hopefully going to get the next stage, the field cannon. So we're going to want to upgrade everything. So what sort of option? We're not really building much in the way of encampments. So we've got this as an option, bastions. That would give us a much better protection. Uh, we've also got plus four naval units. And we've also got one that increases amenities in the city for every garrisoned unit. So that would make sense as well. So we either have a plus two building naval units or we have better amenities. I'm kind of thinking better amenities would probably make more sense at the moment. So let's do that. Okay, so we're trying to get a great scientist. I'm not sure how we're doing there. It's plus two influence to city-state envoys. I'd rather keep that because they can help in combat rather than getting more gold out of them. So let's just have a look at potential increases. We've got plus two gold for all trade routes, so we don't have that many of them. Newly trained builders getting two extra build actions. That would certainly be useful. Production towards wonders. We're building a wonder. The cost of purchasing a tile. These are all pretty good. I tell you what, I might try and do a load of builders. Because I think we've fallen quite a bit behind on builders. So I'm going to start building builders, so to speak. We only have one option here, which is guilds. So if we're going to get the boost, we need to build markets very quickly. Not an option here. What is an option here is a builder. Because we do want to build lots of builders while we've got that bonus. 
Okay, so... <laughs> Getting very slightly tricky to work out which bits are in the boundary of a city and which are not. Okay, this wheat is in the boundary of a city. So let's improve that. We fulfilled a promise to the Egyptian Empire, so that's something. Hopefully that will help a little. Everyone's still... well, they've all denounced us, to be fair. And we have gained a great person. Oh, we've got a great engineer. This is useful though because we can check our progress. So we're trying to get a great scientist. So Scythia is beating us. We might do better to go for a great writer or a great artist. Or a great musician. Interesting. Anyway, so... 215 production tools, wonder construction. That is actually quite good timing. We'll go get the great library. London. So. What are our options for London? Bearing in mind that we still want to build builders if we possibly can. So yeah, let's do that. It won't take London long to build a builder. Uh, this builder can repair over here as well. So that doesn't cost anything. Right, perfect. Now, a great engineer. Hasn't disappeared. I'll possibly get another plus towards Wonder Construction. Okay, brilliant. I was just assuming it would just, just be just the one. But no, instant. Great library. So that should help us with the science a bit. Maybe even allow us to beat Saivir at getting the next great scientist. Okay, brilliant. Magdeburg. Right, Magdeburg. Of all, they do need ancient walls. They finished the lighthouse and the harbour, so before we do anything else, we need to build a naval unit. So we've got a naval ranged here. Caravel is naval melee. So melee 50, movement 4. Uh, strength 45, range strength 55, movement 4. I think I'd rather have the ranged, given the option. Leads. Okay, yeah, leads. Oh, right, does leads already have a market? I was just thinking they've got a commercial hub. We're supposed to be trying to build markets. Maybe we should um, build one of them, but it looks like we've already built one. So I'm basically building quite a lot of builders to take advantage of the whole that policy we've currently got that gives us an extra couple of builds for every freshly built builder. Um, at the same time, I think our campus here is next to a mountain, and I think there's a boost from having a university next to a mountain. So let's build a university. Swordsman. Right, we can now upgrade the swordsman to a musket man, which is what we wanted. Brilliant. And I think this has been ruined as well, so let's repair this. So I'm going to stop building new builders now. Going to make the assumption that with the ones we've set in motion and the policy we've got that will be enough to improve more or less everything we've got on the continent okay Ulm right Ulm has a Hansa so I'm going to build a workshop to boost that 
These musket men need to go somewhere near the borders. Okay. Hold on mine. For I think that's Mercury, isn't it? Great. Okay, and repair. Oh, this needs repairing. Good grief, we did a number on Leventa, didn't we? Uh, right, this bombard, incidentally, not bombard, battering ram. This really ought to be with a musket unit, so let's send it over there. Okay, uh, Tommy Riss would like a deal for some mercury. To be honest, even though I don't think it's a very good deal, I'm going to accept an attempt to make friends with her. It may not work, but we do have spare mercury. And it's, you know, it gives us positive money at least. So we're just going to improve every special item we can find. Okay, so again in an attempt to make friends with Tomiris, let's build a road to her city. Actually, Solok is a much better option. Let's go with that. Gives us extra science, extra faith, extra gold. Does mean we're getting some Protestantism coming into the country. But hey, what can you do? In theory, we should be sending some Catholicism her way as well. So, I have to think we send more than we receive, so it's not a bad deal for us. Okay, Memphis. What can I build with you? Right, I'm going to stop with the... Oh, I see, Memphis has built a builder, hasn't it? Okay, well while the roads are being constructed, let's... Hanza maybe? Yeah, stick a Hanza in the desert. That always helps. London. London has a plus two in a not very useful place. And it seems appropriate to have London as a commercial hub, so. Nope. Nope, Tom Iris still doesn't like us. Come on, I haven't declared war on someone for nearly a hundred years. Memories are long in this game. Okay, build a farm. I think that's it for that builder. Yes. Got a new envoy. So. Need to recruit a great writer for Geneva. It has been a while since we've had an envoy. Oh, we've got two envoys. Oh, let's send a couple to Stockholm because then we'll get a science boost. So you get a science boost at six. I think it's one, three, and six. Stockholm has made peace with Zanzibar. Didn't realise they were at war. Build a quarry. Repair road and repair... Right, so... We might still have an option to repair the road after this. farm on the wheat. What else do we have? I don't think you guys have got anything particular. However, I think there was a boost that related to building a lumber mill. So I'm thinking maybe just build one lumber mill. Uh, yeah, repair road. Ok, 
Okay, so Tria just built a campus, so let's build a library. I'm not building any more military units at the moment because of the money situation. I'm just sort of uh, making sure we can keep hold of the ones we currently have. Okay, clearly I was wrong about commercial hubs benefiting from roads. Let's see what else we have. Hansa. Okay, Hansa would be good. It is our special unit after all, we should definitely make use of it. Leeds. Leads. Well, I'm half wondering about traders, but I'm also wondering about monuments because it won't take as much to build. And it does give us a little bit of extra culture at least. Okay, Cleopatra's denouncing us again. Of course, I expect Cleopatra to denounce us. We are still in possession of Memphis. And will remain so. Okay, brilliant. So I think we've done all the improvements here. Let's send this builder back to Frankfurt, which is where their builder came from. So I might send this builder over to Hamburg. Do some quarries. We built a harbour here yet? I don't seem to have done. Okay, so honestly thinking hands are again. Just because it'll help us to build things. What we do need to do, possibly in Aachen, is build a in medieval walls, while we've still got all the bonuses. We need to build a theatre district. We haven't done any theatre districts yet. Our only real... Travis catapult in Germany. Okay, boost to the knowledge of banking. So... Okay, things have ch no, they haven't changed. We need that. We need this. What are our new options? Right, so we've now finally got enough options that we could do is splitting them up. So while by default they're on all, we can actually split them into different kinds. And you can see which one the new one is. All oh, right, industrial zone adjacency bonuses. Might be worth considering. I'd rather leave this in place for now though. Just for now. So let's let's maintain the status quo for the time being. And I'm just going to move this catapult down. All our roads have been upgraded, which is good. We've got some new city-state quests. Trigger an inspiration for nationalism. I don't actually know how to do that. Zanzibar, recruit a great engineer and construct an encampment for Stockholm. Well, we could certainly construct an encampment. Can always use those. We've had a boost to banking, which is good. Choose a civic. Well, we already have a boost to reform church, so that won't take as long to get. It will give us the option of a theocracy, but I doubt we will be switching to that government type. Monarchy is working quite well for us at the moment. Okay, do we have a harbour with a lighthouse there? Because if we do, thinking maybe we should build... It's going to take a while to build these boats, isn't it? Might be another reason to build another Hansa. That almost end up being quicker in the end. Okay, we have another option for a builder. So let's do these crabs. And we were going to do a lumber mill here, weren't we? Because it gives us a boost towards mass production. 
it's really the main reason I'm doing it. I don't normally do improvements where there isn't something special to improve. Boats, go for pearls. So Cleopatra wants pearls and she's gonna offer us right, that's not even five per turn, that's literally just five. Go away. I'm never gonna make peace with Cleopatra anyway. There's absolutely no point in trying to play nice with her. Is that a barbarian? Oh, That's interesting. To be honest, Valletta will probably kill him. Okay, so builder, uh, need to make a quarry. Another builder here. Okay, so we've run out of improvements in leads that we can make. But there's a quarry up here that I hadn't noticed. I think there's some jade there. There's plenty of things to do up there. Okay, so we already have a quarry. So there's milk here, but it's not within the borders of one of our cities. I don't think we actually can improve it if it isn't in the border. But why would we want to, really? Here, he would like our pearls. Uh, so we do have two lots of pearls, don't we? I suppose at least that's one a turn. It's still a terrible deal. But it should improve our relationship with him a little. <laughs> I was hoping the letter would actually take them down. Oh, brilliant, you know, I think we built a university next to a mountain. Which has given us a boost to astronomy, not surprisingly. Right, I don't know if there's anything else in Ranger London, but there is a quarry here. And another quarry there. So really, Hamburg should be quite the industrial centre for all these quarries. Okay, Aachen. I am thinking Aachen could really, really do with a theatre square because I don't think we have a single theatre square yet which is not going to help with our culture. Tria. Tria can build a university as well so then we'll hopefully have two. Uh, Leeds has got a couple of quarries so a Hansa might be good a good place to build one. Now there's one here that will give us plus three but this one will also give us plus three and that one's quite good for food. Ah we can't afford it though. Okay well we'll stick with this one. The quarry I see there's actually a barbarian fort there. Well, isn't that interesting? I'm suddenly thinking. Oh, we've got banking. Good, good. Right, I'm thinking this is a good opportunity to get some practice in for our uh, musket units. Okay. Forgot to link the battering ram, but to be fair, probably don't need it for a barbarian encampment. And also, this unit has come within range. So, okay, you sleep for now. Mass production or astronomy? That gives a wonder. Mass production gives a wonder and a shipyard. I think I will go for mass production. I've got a city ranged attack. 
Right, so why not? Help the letter out of it. They can give their catapult a chance to recover. Okay, crabs. Ooh. New government. I think it's probably the theocracy, which I'm not that interested in. I just saw an improvement in Islam here, though. That suggests there's a city here. I wonder if I even need a naval unit to explore now. I mean, everyone kind of has boats. Might be able to just send a military unit over to have a look around. Right, I think someone's already going to that quarry there. Oh! There we go. Fish. And I think we've maybe discovered the final... Oh no, it's a new city-state, I think. Nan Madal. And they want us to construct a commercial hub, which is good, because I think we're probably on the way with that one. Uh, well, we certainly... Oh no, we haven't had any alliances, had we? We're unlikely to have any now as well. But then again, we're also unlikely to get any great artists. Got a bunch of new options. Hmm. Go for diplomatic service first. Seems more useful in terms of war, at least. Right, we do need to upgrade our units whenever we can. I think we've currently got a boost, like a cut price. Oh my goodness, we found a tribal village. What am I thinking? Can the builder do the... Tri okay, apparently the builder is actually miles away from the tribal village. So our closest option is the crossbowman, unfortunately. Okay, so build a quarry. Do need to upgrade the catapult. Right, so this build is already heading down to these fish. So this build should go somewhere else. I'm doing quite well in terms of having built most things. Let's head down here for this nighter. Because we could do with more of that if possible. One thing, this will come up again. One thing I tend not to do is sell any potential military substance to any nation I don't have an alliance with. So that's going to be any nation at the moment. So we're going to be keeping hold of our nitre because that's used for gunpowder. Laventa, right, let's do the shrine. So finish developing. I should really think about more settlers. Although does Augsburg? Augsburg's building. Augsburg is building some settlers. Okay. Looks like Valletta had actually done all the hard work in defeating the barbarians there. Very kind of them. Allowed us to just walk in and take 50 gold. And we have discovered the mass production. So our next boost is to astronomy. Apparently we completed a quest for Nan Madol as well, so we've got the Envoy over there, which is good. We're going to have the first cultural city-state we've met. Current suzerain is Saladin. I think we're actually closer to Saladin than I thought we were. I might just take a minor risk and see if we can send a musketman across the sea. 
do a bit of exploring. Actually, we do have explorers, don't we? I was forgetting. These are known as scouts. So, in fact... Let's not. Let's let the scouts do the job. Okay, musket men, you head back to the battering ram. Oops. And a second, where's... Is it actually taking us here? Oh, there we go. Memphis. It's more like it. Right, they've built Hansa, so let's build a workshop to boost that further. London has built a commercial hub, so let's build a market to boost that further. Uh, we have a few things we can improve. Diamonds sounds good, though. Apparently we can have another trade route as well, so we really should concentrate on that. Right, I think that's about it. So not the most interesting episode, it was mostly about just builders. But yeah, basically I just wanted to boost our peacetime credentials. So trying to get us ahead in terms of, well, maybe not ahead, but at least keep up with everyone in terms of science and culture. Haven't been doing much religion either. We should probably even, before I do anything else, just check whether we can make an apostle, which we can. Can we make a second apostle? Ah, maybe we can't. Although we can actually build medieval walls for free using faith. It's tempting, but then we've got to boost that anyway, so maybe we should focus on using... Our actual faith for faith related things so yeah so yeah next turn we'll have the apostle and we'll see what we can do with them and maybe start trying to spread our religion a little further across the continent although it looks like Stockholm's still Catholic no oh, sorry Cleopatra I wasn't actually meaning to talk to you then and Leventa is at least considering it so, but if nothing else, we should be able to get Leventa and Memphis, perhaps, converted, Augsburg. At least get our own cities Catholic, so that we've got a good, solid dose of Catholicism here. Make sure Saladin can't make any roads, because I'm sure that's what he's planning. I'm expecting a, a whole wall of apostles to arrive at any minute from the west. So yeah, apart from that, we've got some scouts heading over to the new continent. Something I should have realised is that we don't at this stage actually need ships in order to explore the new continent, but nonetheless, we should definitely have a navy. So, yeah, and I think we'll probably be able to get rid of the builder bonus and pick a different cultural thing, because I think we've built all the builders we needed to. Taking full advantage of the extra two builds they get when they're created, so we will move to something else, maybe something industrial if we can. But we'll leave that for next time. I will see you then.